I think it's very important that our students know from which they came. In retrospect, looking back, we've uh, actually come a long ways. It was worth it. The dream has come true. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like the river I've been running ever since. It's been a long time. Cahoma Community College is one of the, the last remaining historically black community colleges in Mississippi. This is our 60th year anniversary because you know the school was founded in 1949. It has been uh, here for 60 years now and I'm so grateful to just uh, be a part of a school that has been around and been in the community so historically. I think that it's important for those of us who stand in those classrooms to make sure that there is a, a connection to your past. And some people take it for granted. Some people don't realize like what people have gone through just to get where we are today. I don't think a lot of people understand the significance of this school, but I'm happy that I've finally done research on it so that I can know the significance of it. Some of our sharecroppers and some of the educators that moved from various places, some of our local educators, got together with the concept that we can educate our children right here in the Mississippi Delta. My grandfather and some other influential African Americans approached the Board of Supervisors to try to influence them to start a high school. The Board of Supervisors bought land from the King and Allison Plantation to start a home agricultural high school. And that was to train uh, black students to be better farm workers. In this whole area of the state, there was no post-secondary education for African Americans. That is the result of Cahoma, an outgrowth of the agricultural high school into a community college system. I was trying to pick enough cotton to uh, try to survive some type of way. And I was literally in the cotton field when Mr. McLaurin came out to uh, come out in the field and recruit us and got several of us that had uh, graduated that 49 class. It's 60 years old and I think it's 60 years old because of the leadership that this school has had. It's given me a sense of pride and it's also given me the drive to want to work even harder because I've seen what people have gone through. It's been too hard to live in and I'm afraid to die Cause I don't know what's out there beyond the sky It's been a long A lot of things have changed, uh, fortunately, for the better. And to actually see where the institution was at the very beginning, to see how the mission and how it's grown over the years, it's just been really wonderful. We definitely um, pride ourselves on being one of the 50th fastest growing HBCUs in the United States. In 15 years, I've seen the institution's enrollment double in size. I don't think that's happenstance. I think it's because people sense that there is a real desire here in terms of the faculty for students to be successful. I always hold a special place in my heart for Oklahoma and for these students because they want an education and they want to see changes in their life. I love being a part of that. I think all instructors do. It is a family atmosphere and I think that that's what we are most proud of. Dr. Presley does a wonderful job. She really put Cahoma on the move, and we've been on an upward swing um, ever since. She wants to make sure that Cahoma is always a leader and making sure that we are a catalyst of change and that we improve the economic conditions of our area. 
having been raised in the Mississippi Delta, we are aware of the impact of poverty on our students. Yeah, we used to pull them out of the cotton fields. Now we still pull them out of similar situations as well. It may not be the cotton field per se, but it may be off a street corner. We know that education has been the catalyst for economic growth. When we have um, industrial development prospects that come into the community, first thing they ask is about education. We did a, a study showing that uh, all of our programs across the board, even our certificate programs, increased the earning potential of the participant. We're looking at a almost 200% increase in the earning potential. It's a benefit to everybody. I believe Coahoma Community College, again, will be the engine that carries Coahoma County forward economically. I think that if Coahoma Community College closed its doors, it would close the town. It is more than a jewel. It is everything this community has to have. This has just become a vibrant, vital part of the community where all people celebrate its existence. Take the vinayo to my brother. And I say, brother, help me please. Help me please. Ah. Listen. I think it's very important that our students know from which they came. Because I'm sure that there are some students out there that does not realize that without that dream that Dr. King had, they wouldn't be where they are today. You have to dream in order to reach. And you have to reach in order to get. And that's what it's all about, reaching for a dream. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Today was the day I, that I believe it should have been ignited within each of us that you can dream. And not only can you dream, you can accomplish it. Congratulations, Mr. President. It's given a lot of people a lot of hope now. Through hard work and effort, Anything is possible. I know I have a few friends that weren't in college at first, and now they're saying, oh, I can do it. Barack Obama did it. He went to college. Why can't I? So they enrolled in school, and now they're here. Education is going to be the key because young people now, they will say, okay, I can be president of the United States. Okay, you can, but are you coming to class? Are you getting your homework? Are you learning how to use the technology? And are you listening to the counsel that you're being given? In a global economy where the most valuable skill you can sell is your knowledge, a good education is no longer just a pathway to opportunity, it is a prerequisite. So tonight I ask every American to commit to at least one year or more of higher education or career training. This can be a community college or a four-year school, vocational training or an apprenticeship. But whatever the training may be, every American will need to get more than a high school diploma. And dropping out of high school is no longer an option. It's not just quitting on yourself, it's quitting on your country. And this country needs and values the talents of every American. It's well worth it. All that we do is well worth graduating one student. So in my mind, I see Kahoma Community College changing one life at a time. Ooh, there's been times that I thought I could last this long, but now I think I'm able to carry on. Oh. Kahoma has been here 60 years, celebrating 60 years of serving the community, serving the students, and hey, we're just getting started. <laughs>